Hello everyone, this is Sharifa. Today I'm going to use these cards with their envelopes um, to make a greeting card in a technique called inlay. In this card, I'm going to need to use a background die. So this is the background die that I will use. It's from Penny Black. Uh, and uh, I liked it because it's kind of uh, has uh, the theme of uh, spring flowers leaves and uh, as i'm writing for um a special um blog uh, specialized in crafts so we have a special theme which is spring and we have a special palette and this is the palette and i'm trying to use the same colors of the palette to apply in my project today so these uh, papers are um, from Elizabeth Craft Designs and I think they have 36 colors if they didn't add new colors to them and I love, I really love these uh, cardstock. And now uh, I did cut the papers uh, to the same size of my die. I have five colors here and um, also, I'm going to use uh, this Back to Basic uh, paper pad, which is an 8 by 8 inches. It's from uh, Dove Craft, and I chose this pattern to be the background of the background I'm going to make. The pattern paper is just a quarter of an inch smaller uh, than the size of the card. And... Uh, here I'm gonna start. I'm gonna need also a white card cut at the same size of the um, the background die, and then I'm gonna stick a double-sided tape or double-sided paper to it. And now I'm trimming the uh, double-sided tape to the same size of the paper card. The paper card doesn't have to be white. It can be any other color, but as you know the standard is white and I need every spot or every piece of the paper to be sticky and then uh, I will not cut this paper but I will cut all of the colored papers and now uh, I chose the dark green to be the border lines uh, for my die cut so I'm gonna show you a way uh, to be able to adjust it so how this is how you can uh, stick it gradually and it's in this way and piece by piece there you go and now uh, I have my die on the double-sided um, sticky paper so I'm going to use the rest of the four colors um, as a puzzle and my advice to you is don't remove the, uh, the parts so keep them attached so you will know where exactly are they positioned especially like a complicated die such as this one um, Actually, it wasn't easy and it took me about two days to finish this background, but I really had a good time and I enjoyed it. So if you have all of these pieces uh, detached from the die, you will need to find out where are they located exactly and it will be really, really harder to do it. So here, as if you are painting uh, the background, but we're using papers or it's like um, placing tiles in their places or it's like uh, making mosaic. I don't know. It's like, it's like filling a puzzle. And I really liked it and I like the result of it. And um, now I will just uh, play fast forward so you don't uh, spend a long time just watching me uh, putting the pieces uh, together. And uh, afterwards, I'll show you how I finished the card. Of 
I try to uh, like place the uh, the colored um, paper on uh, my background exactly the same and then push the pieces into their spaces underneath it worked sometimes but other times uh, it didn't work because any minor movement if they are not well placed over each other's it uh, will move and you need to uh, replace it again into the space And of course here I have um, five colors so I could make five backgrounds of the same technique. Um, I tried to do a second one but then actually um, I was tired and I couldn't make a third one. I will show you the variation I made uh, with the uh, rest or leftovers of uh, this project and it's almost the same background but with swiping the colors. So this is uh, the end result of my background. Then I trimmed the excess paper uh, around it. And uh, here I don't want any um, excess paper uh, outside my background. And after I'm done uh, from aligning my papers together, I was looking for a sentiment. So I chose this one from Crafts and More Arabic Sentiments. And it's called Mabruk, which means congratulations. And I chose the brown color. And uh, I did cut my die three times with the same white cardstock I used for the background. And then once with the brown color I chose. Uh, and this is because I want to stack these papers over each other's so I have a kind of a thickness of the sentiment so it feels like a chipboard. As you can see this um, will add uh, more texture to my card and it will make my sentiment more prominent. And of course, I always have uh, my signature ready um, just to be proud of what I did. So uh, this acrylic block always has my name on it and uh, with the sentiment created with love uh, by Sharif al -Asfur. Now I will start to um, stick everything together. So this is the pattern paper and I chose to uh, stick it directly on the card uh, without 
um, double-sided foam however this background that I made um, I'm gonna make it uh, more raised by using the foam underneath And now I'm positioning my sentiment to make sure that it is at the right place before I glue it. And then I used something that maybe I use it with every card I make. But I think that this card misses something which is of course a glitter. So I used to use Wink of Stella before and now I'm using Crafter Companions. Um, I also have the Nouveau and I think they all give a nice result um, and uh, I like to use them as an ending touch to my greeting cards. Um, I still feel like I need to add something so I decided to use the Nouveau drops and the Nouveau drops here that I used they have different finishes so these ones are the transparent ones and this one is the glitter one. And the transparent ones I tried to use on light uh, backgrounds such as white and yellow, especially if they have um, a light color. However, the glitter one, I added it anywhere. I didn't pay attention to the background as much as the composition of the drops and where they need to be. And just as an advice, if you are um, using anything that it needs to dry, like Nouveau drops or glossy accents, uh, try to make it as the final step of your project and try to leave it overnight to dry. Uh, because you will not like what happens if you touch it before it is completely dry. And here, as you can see, my Nouveau drops are dry. And this is the final result of my project. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please press like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to be informed about my videos as soon as they are on. So I want to show you also the variation uh, of the card I did. So this is the one uh, we were just doing. And uh, as you can see, uh, there is a shift in the color in this other one. Here I used the brown as the border of the die. I used also another die which was way easier to align the pieces in it and I used it also in two variations. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope you liked the video and happy crafting.